So the opening sequence to the game has changed drastically in Alpha 10. Uh, we have a sort of tighter, refined lore in the game and we wanted the introduction to reflect this. So players now have a new core objective of protecting the city uh, by generating Lumo energy and they generate this by playing user-generated content. So we wanted to show what happens if you don't do that. The game opens with a sequence of an old city collapsing as it's invaded by Rawbones. Um, players will be introduced to the head of the various factions found in the city, um, help them out and then all escape together. So the aims of changing the beginning flow of the game was really just to get the player more stuck into the action and also that we can guide them through more how the controls work and give them a bit of a slower pace of picking stuff up while still giving them some real excitement of going through and experiencing what's happening to the city as it's collapsing. It's visually stunning. I think it really sets the tone and the story for um, our game. Um, I think it's a wonderful introduction into our world. So in Alpha 10, uh, you'll notice a change in the layout of the main city as well. We've changed its name, we've changed its structure to reflect the new refined story. So the changes that have happened to the city in this Alpha are really to allow the player a bit more free reign to go and explore the way they want to and play the game they want to. So now you're able to do things like go on adventures straight away or you're able to just go and build straight away. We don't want to give any barriers to the player in playing so they're free to just go off and, and do what they want. As we progress through development of the game, the story gets tighter and we're starting to set the scene for larger stories that we'll tell in future.